So, Mr. Prodi, what's your reaction to the approach the European leaders are taking? Well, a lot of their effort seems to be going into stopping the migrants rather than saving them. Uh, look, uh, uh, the action has been directed to save the migrants, uh, to stop them. Uh, there are some preconditions, but not yet uh, the decision to do that, you know. But uh, to save them, uh, they have multiplied by three the resources. Uh, that is, uh, to give a concrete uh, dimension, to arrive to the same budget that uh, the previous operation led by the Italian government, uh, Mare Nostrum, uh, was the same budget that now will have uh, the Triton plus uh, Poseidon operation, that's a European-led uh, rescue operation. Uh, to bring peace uh, is, another, uh, is another option, you know. I think that uh, this has been discussed, uh, uh, but could not be decided uh, today, because uh, you, need, uh, you have not a government asking for intervention. So you need all the international caveat and all the, uh, let's say, legal uh, constraint that you have to do with that. Politically, I think that uh, uh, the international community is obliged to uh, give a increased effort for peace in Libya, but uh, not only Europe, but uh, all the big powers, let us call them, in the world, uh, they need to bring pressure on Egypt, on Turkey, on uh, Qatar, on the Gulf states, uh, on all the uh, neighbor countries, uh, on Libya, they must press them in order to oblige the protected uh, uh, groups or tribes of Libya to sit around a table and to uh, settle an agreement, you know, because uh, otherwise uh, there will be no peace in Libya. And now, look, now this is possible because the first time that the great powers they have the same fear about terrorism. China for the Uyghuri, Russia for the Caucasian, Look, Europe you're taking and the United along, States. Sorry to interrupt, but you're going a, a, a long way ahead onto the big geopolitics here. Just focusing on the migrants, the migrants who are trying to escape from Libya. Oh, well, the migrant, the migrant uh, it is clear that the new mission will be more powerful. There is an engagement uh, British, German, French agreement to send ships, but the mandate will not be different than it was before. But what about so destroying less, the boats? I mean, part people, of the plan is to destroy the boats of the people so they can't leave. Yeah, but this has not been technically decided to go to today. This is a will, is a proposal, but uh, as I told before, you need international uh, uh, conditions that uh, have, could not be solved today. Mrs. Mogherini has a mandate to start this process. Right. And I do hope that the mandate will be implemented. But you asked me on the decision that will have effect tomorrow is rescue of uh, Migrant, and this is this is a very positive agreement, you know. Right. Well, but look, between in scope, between just rescuing them and solving the problems of Libya, the other the other proposal or the other idea, not from the, the leaders, is we should have more migrants or places for migrants in Europe. Now, as I understand it, it's only five thousand places uh, that have been agreed in Europe. Do you think? Are you somebody who thinks? Europe should be taking very, very many more in an organised resettlement of some kind? Yes, I, I, I think that uh, uh, the number must increase 
in the future because today is too limited, you know, but uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. As uh, you understand, even the declaration of the uh, British Prime Minister was very clear. Let's say we participate to the risk operation, but we shall bring people to Italy or to other South European countries, you know. So uh, this is the limit of the operation, but it's a positive result because when you, when you are committed to save lives, uh, this is a positive uh, result. Are there struggles between the North Europeans and the Southern Europeans here? Is this really what the, where the, the argument lies between the frontline states like Italy and Greece and the North Europeans who would rather say it's not, it's not our problem? Look, I, I, tell, I, I must tell you frankly my experience. When I was president of the Commission, we did a lot of effort for the previous, uh, for the countries previously belonging to the Soviet bloc. But when I raised the problem to bring help to the southern Mediterranean countries, to have a, a Mediterranean bank, to have, uh, uh, let's say, common institutions, uh, the Northern European country, where uh, they did not agree. This is my experience. And I do think that, understandably, but there are different interests. And the UK, of course, is in the middle of an election. I don't know whether that makes yes. it more complicated. Yes, and this is why uh, Mr Cameron declared clearly to the electorate, look, we help people to rescue. We have the biggest army, the most efficient army in Europe, that is true, and so we'll send ships and helicopters, but the people that we rescue, we bring back, we bring to Italy and not to UK. Romano Prodi, thanks ever so much. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thanks. Thank you so much.